Process right now of masking off the uh, um, line where I'm going to change colors here. I've got the main white, uh, the body shot primer, top coated uh, the white down to about here with a base coat of white, and uh, been wet sanding that on and off, trying to get it even and nice and shiny. So right now I'm taping off to to get ready for shooting the uh, the blue made a little tool here to to keep my line accurate and uh, we're gonna proceed with that and see so coat of the blue on I'm taking off the, the tape and the, and the plastic and all that to make sure it doesn't stick and give me a, a problem pulling off later but I'm gonna wet sand the blue and uh, get ready for a second coat it was too hot to do anything today so I figured it'd be good to let it sit harden up a bit start to cool down now it's getting to be evening wet sand it and then re-tape it up and get it ready to shoot again tomorrow. But this gives us an idea of what we're looking at. Hopefully when I pull that tape off around there that line doesn't come up with that tape. It doesn't flake anything off. It shouldn't. But uh, one never knows. <coughs> but uh, that's what I'm doing. I'll, I'll Pop back on the video here and give a quick look around once I get to get all this stuff off. But I figured I'd show you the process that I'm doing to get this done and uh, move forward. Yeah, it's starting to come together. It's starting to look like how I wanted it. So, a couple quick questions. I figure I'd get everybody else's opinions, and they're probably the same as mine. But, uh, I like the gold hardware on there. First question is, is do I go with gold knobs? Those are just the studs to hold the, the tailpiece in for now. But, uh, do I go with gold knobs, or do I carve... Carve some out of the leftover mahogany. Give it some contrast on there. Undecided. I was thinking about maybe carving them and either painting them white and blue to match. I don't know. Like maybe uh, maybe the uh, top hat type um, knobs with have the knob white and then the base layer, the base ring around the lower part where the numbers would be in the blue and the face of it blue, the top part here blue. That might be something. Um, 
got a few few sh places where the spray got through and uh, definitely some cleanup that needs to be done but also I'm, I'm wondering if maybe maybe I need to bring this edge up just a little bit so it's not so high so we can because that, that looks like it's a separate top and not just a, a binding so I don't know see what you guys think I'm gonna put this up I'm gonna definitely gonna wet sand this and, and uh, start getting ready for retape All right, time to clean off these edges and get the tape off and wet sand the sand down before that builds up too deep and it's sitting too long and it doesn't want to pull off. So I need to watch my bald head. So let's get this tape off here and then got the really thin line tape. Let's see how how good that worked and what all my masking jobs are. So here we go. That tape definitely sticks good. That is for sure. I think that edge looks much better than way down here. Yeah, it's got a nice little lip build up, so wet sand that down, I'll retape it and, and we will do our final coat of the blue. Kind of hard where I'm shooting outside. A temporary wind block and and uh, had to set up with a booth but all I did was attract bugs and and make it like a greenhouse. That's why I gotta redo the white. Man, this tape is really pulling off nice. Went to Napa Auto Parts and they wanted $36 a roll for this stuff. I bought this on Amazon. I've got like eight rolls of this stuff for $6. And they're trying to say, oh, well, all the shipping and all that stuff and COVID this and COVID that. It's like, dude. Look at the date on this thing. You bought this back in like the 90s. Ain't no way you paid prices today, crackheads. Trying to pull that crap. And you might want to watch yourself when you buy stuff too because they end up doing that to you. Pulling that. Oh, COVID this, COVID that, shipping this, shipping that. When they in fact bought the materials 10 years ago. And they know they paid like a dollar or something. They're trying to jack you for thirty-six dollars. So we gotta watch this stuff, man. Everybody's profiteering now. Those lines are looking really, really sharp. So I am very, very happy with that. Like I said, this tape is pulling off perfect. Can't beat that either. Hopefully this isn't too boring. But it is what it is. It's all part of the part of the project. Well, I 
come here. You know, he had that tape perfect. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Take you out for a look here. Now I'll show you. Hey, what we got going on? Todd, you hooked a brother up seriously, man. Look at this shit. Wow. So I got uh, one more coat on the back to do. Streaked it out, wet sand in it. But it's all nice and flat and ready to go. Got stuff stuck there from that foam. But look at that edge. Man. Almost like I knew what I was doing with that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. So we get that back evened out. And, uh, we are golden. Alright, I'm going to end this right now and throw this in the edit later.